Hey Gemini, what's up gang? I hope that you guys are well. Wow, bless change came out. I'm just starting to shuffle. It says a major life change brings you great blessings. All right then, we'll take it, right? Healing heart, I saw as well. So your heart could be healing, Gemini. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and just do a general message. We're gonna see what comes out. If that's something that interests you. Guys, I cannot. Is there like a Mercury retrograde happening again or something? If that interests you, go ahead and stick around, okay? Um, Gemini, if you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Jessica. Please take a look at my description box because that's going to have all the information that you would need to know. And if uh, you are curious, yes, this is a Gemini channel. However, it's if you vibe, you tribe, all right? So if you are not of the Gemini variety, it's okay. Go ahead and make yourself comfy. Gemini, if you are returning, welcome back. I hope that you're good. hope you're taking care of yourself. And I hope you're doing what's best for you. All right, guys. Thank you for all the support that y'all give. Let's go ahead and get into this because obviously the cards want to talk, okay? Um, we are using, what is this deck? Um, it is the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins by Doreen Virtue. And this is her original deck, not the prints that they made after she quit the spiritual life okay all right so friendship for some of you a friend is very significant in your life right now Gemini okay or a friend is about to be significant some of you guys are going to be meeting somebody new okay I am getting that energy all right some of you could be meeting somebody who's very different than you because I'm just getting this energy of her watching this human person you know and then this manatee and this little mer child playing. I'm just almost getting the energy of like, you might be stepping out of your comfort zone to meet somebody new, okay? I'm, I don't know why I'm getting this energy, Gemini, but I'm getting the energy of like a blind date. Some of you might meet somebody next to a waterfall or a waterfall is significant. There's something about a rush of emotions or emotions being at their peak, Gemini. I just heard meet me under the weeping willow. Okay, I don't know. I'm getting that energy of meeting somebody I'm just, there's a lot on this card that's speaking to me. I'm also getting a parrot up here, right? So there could be people who are gossiping about a couple that's very different. You know, he's a human, she's a mermaid. How's this gonna work? Yeah, there could be somebody spilling the tea right now, Gemini, on some kind of friendship or relationship that you have. Some people could see that you are interested in somebody. I've heard you're different, man, you're different. I don't know. So you might have changed Gemini or somebody might have changed because of you. Somebody might come in knowing that all they can, and like wanting you romantically Gemini, but knowing all they can offer you is friendship because of your standards, right? For whatever reason, take it as it resonates. Maybe they already have somebody. Maybe they have a, a deal breaker for you or something like that. I feel like this person would be with you, but maybe there's this energy of like, they know that that's not possible for you for them, it's just not possible, but this person really wants to be at least your friend. Like they want that connection with you. And people could be spilling the tea on this right now. With that parrot and this, these two girls having this tea party, I am definitely getting that there are people talking about you. There could be a redhead and a blonde or a redhead and a brunette talking about you, Gemini, or talking about um, your a connection that you have with somebody, okay? I feel like, I feel like spirit is working hard to bring somebody into your life right now. I feel like you are in alignment to meet somebody, Gemini. I am, look at this. You cannot make it up. Okay. I feel like some of you guys are in alignment to meet somebody and this person might be a friend to you. You know, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm hearing, uh, what is it? Is it Little John, L Ludacris, Usher, Lovers and Friends? Are those the ones that sing that song? I don't know. I'm getting that song though. Some of you guys, this could be Lovers and Friends. For others of you, it's just gonna be friendship, it's just gonna be lovers, take it as it resonates. But there's somebody that's gonna come in your life that's going to help you, you're going to help them. I'm seeing the Six of Pentacles. This is going to be an equal give and take relationship, okay? I, I, I'm not even really paying attention to the messages that are on these cards. I'm kind of just paying attention to this, this, and then the illustrations, Gemini. All right. I'm getting this energy of somebody giving you a leg up or somebody um, offering you a kindness. 
you could be in a bind here, Gemini, in the future or have been in a bind and somebody has showed you a kindness. I feel like if there is somebody in your life that knows they can't be your lover, but they at least want to be your friend, I feel like this person knows that they messed up. I feel like this person's been working on their self-forgiveness before they could even ask you for forgiveness because that's important actually. You know, that's showing that who, for this is not for everybody obviously, you know, so take it as it resonates. If you know your person ain't crap or this person ain't crap and this is definitely not their energy, they, you know, then that's not for you. But for some of you guys, this person is looking inside and they're taking accountability for whatever actions they've taken. And they want to forgive themselves before they ever ask for your forgiveness. So I kind of like that. It's kind of dope, to be honest with you, because it's showing that this person has like grown or they've matured or this experience has really um, opened up their eyes in regards to their own actions, their own behavior. I'm not saying you're an angel, Gemini, or that you were perfect, but I do like that this person is actually looking at their end of things. Okay. For some of you, you're going to meet a earth angel, a guardian angel on earth, somebody who is specifically here to help you. They are going to show up in a time of need and then they're going to leave. That is for somebody, okay? So this is like the energy of you get a flat tire on the side of the road and then, you know, Jim Bob just happens to stop and he's like an earth angel. He has everything you need and then more. He even gives you a little homespun wisdom. I don't know. There's something about that and you're just like after he's left you, you know, with your tire inflated and your windshield wiped and just like, you know, some bomb ass advice, you're like, damn. I was definitely meant to meet that person. Like, I don't know. There's something about that, Gemini. Yeah, you're going to see that you're being protected in some way. Some of you, for if that energy of somebody gossiping about you is true, then you are being protected or this connection is being protected. Take it as it resonates, okay? What else do we have for Gemini? We have all blue cards. Wow. So there's something about your throat chakra and your third eye right now needing to get those two connected your throat chakra and your third eye they're like this energy of needing to trust your intuition enough to speak it into existence if that makes sense like you ever like felt something in your gut but you're like no no no, i'm not even gonna say that out loud because i don't know if that's for real and so i don't wanna there's this energy of needing to trust your intuition enough to say it gemini take it as it resonates <coughs> Excuse me, guys. My throat still hasn't been right since I got whatever my son got. To be honest with you, I haven't had time to be sick. I don't have time in my life to be sick. So when my son brings something home, it's just the show must go on because I'm the only one doing it. <laughs> Head hurt, okay? So, yeah. Um, but anyway, so I just heal as I uh, go on. But anyways, ready, set, go. Self-employed. Yeah, for some of you, that's that energy. Like you've been waiting for a long time to be self-employed. You want to stop working for the man. Um, you, you're done, right? For some of you, you're wanting to just throw this corporate job goodbye. For some of you guys, you really want to start your music business. Music business, good job. Good. <laughs> I cannot speak. Music business makes me sound like I'm like 80, okay? I'm done, guys. I'm like so done. I, my tongue has been so twisted, I swear. Anyways, that was hilarious. Your music business, right? <laughs> okay, anyways, yes, your music career is what I meant to say, okay? Yeah, some of you guys have been trying to get that going off the ground. You're about to meet somebody who's gonna help you, maybe like a new agent or something like that, Gemini. <laughs> oh, God. I swear, yes, the spirit cannot let yourself receive. Spirit cannot stress this enough. You are protected. Let yourself receive the good things in your life. Feel empowered. Take your power back, right? You're more powerful than you even realize, Gemini, okay? You and your loved ones, your possessions, they're all safe. You can dream big. Don't worry about it. Basically, is the energy I'm getting. I mean, worry about it. Do something about it, but don't worry about it. For those of you that want to be self-employed, do it because it's leading to a treasure chest. I'm telling you right now. Pay attention. Notice the repetitious signs and your inner guidance as they yield valuable information right now, Gemini. I feel like you're getting repeated messages. Some of you are finding coins, feathers. You're seeing the synchronistic numbers. You know, you're having all these odd coincidences happen and you're like, is Spirit trying to tell me something? Yes, Spirit's trying to tell you that it's time to ready, set, go with whatever this is that you're trying to create for yourself. If some of you are trying to become self-employed or 
If you're not trying to become self-employed, but you're trying to rise in the ranks at work, that could resonate too, okay, for some of you guys. But I am getting this energy of really being self-employed. Some of you guys just need to take action into your own hands when it comes to something, okay, in the career field. So if you're wanting a raise or you're wanting a promotion, you're needing to go to your boss and say that, okay? For some of you, I feel like your boss sees you as somebody who does well when they're not under too much stress or pressure. So they don't really... Like, they don't want to baby you because, yeah, you need to be able to do everything that everybody else does, but they do kind of realize that, you know, you do great, you thrive when you're not stressed. But when you're stressed, your work suffers, your attitude changes, and you're such a good worker when you're not stressed out that they want to keep you. So it's like some of you, yeah, you do get a little bit babied at work. Like there is somebody who does help you a lot more than they would help other people because when you're doing good, Gemini, you're doing fucking good, okay? Like I'm telling you, like when you do good, you do good, all right? And yeah, so you're protected in that way. Spirit saying stay optimistic, okay? Especially if you are trying to become self-employed. Some of you are trying to write a book, get a book published. It's going to do amazing. Some of you are trying to open up your own gym. I just heard that. Or open up your own fitness center or yoga, something like that. There's something with moving your body around or some kind of like dance. See how she looks like she's dancing? And this one looks like they're writing something that could be like a, you know, I don't know, exercise bike or something. I'm just getting this energy of that. Some of you wanting to move, be more active. For those of you that, yeah, for sure though, if you're wanting to branch out on your own when it comes to money, or maybe you're just trying to grow a side gig or something, like I feel like for some of you guys, you don't want to quit your corporate job or your, your main job that you have, but you do want to grow something else on the side, okay? That is for some of you guys. Some of you guys really do like the, the work that you do. You just want to enhance it in some kind of way, all right? Look, pay attention to repetitious signs. It's coming out again. Spirit really needs you to pay attention to those repetitious signs. Some of you have been getting the message you need to rest. You've been working too hard, Gemini. You know, watch your thoughts too. If you're having these negative thoughts, it's telling you they're all going to laugh at you. You're not, you're not shit. You're not going to accomplish shit, right? No, that's not true. Okay. Friendship. Why is this here for Gemini? I feel like you're meeting somebody new. Okay, yeah, for some of you, there is a Cancerian or a Scorpio that's coming your way. Some of you might meet this person through work. I feel like you are built, meant to build some kind of legacy with this person. I am getting that energy. Somebody could be coming towards you too, saying that they've reflected on something. They, they would love to have you as a lover, but they would like to be your friend if possible. Some of you actually have, look, here's the tea, guys. Some of you have actually heard this from this person before. Like, oh, I'd love to be with you, but I will just settle for being your friend. I just want you in my life. And then when you weren't willing to give up the cookie jar, right, then they disappeared. So some of you, when this person comes back, judgment, and says the same thing over again, you're gonna get a little triggered. I feel like you're gonna pull out your sword of truth and be like, oh, really? That's how you feel, right? <laughs> like that meme. I don't know why they, guys, my guys really do channel memes sometimes for me. Isn't that crazy? I know. I feel like you're going to be holding back a little bit, right? Like a little bit, like asking some questions or just like, I don't know, trying to get the truth out of this person because I don't feel like you trust whoever this is. you be like, really? What? You know, I don't know. Yeah, I'm telling you. This person's coming in with a quickness, Gemini. You cannot even make it up. I'm telling you. This person is coming in telling you. And see, that's why I'm saying they're in two minds about it. Because I feel like their heart is telling them that they want to be with you. But there's something that they're coming up short with here. This is the shortest night in the deck. Um, and with this <laughs> with this knight of swords here, they're just their minds like, but if I rush in telling them that I'm willing to be their friend, because really I am truth, right? I really am willing to be this person's friend. Like this person this person, if they told you this before in the past. Okay, I feel like they were lying through their teeth in the past. They didn't care nothing about being your friend. They just wanted that. You know what I'm saying? That's all they wanted. They didn't care nothing about being your friend. But I feel like now things have changed. They see your value for whatever reason where they didn't see that value before. <coughs> yeah, this person's manifesting you. Why? Because you're their wish fulfillment, Gemini. You're being helped. Okay. 
you're being helped yeah for some of you guys you have been through like some kind of financial instability recently you're building this back up and you are being helped there's gonna be some kind of victory you're gonna get some kind of again recognition reward um, there is gonna be this move like here in the future when it comes to your finances when it comes to you know your career yeah because I feel like some of you guys have suffered through a tower recently I feel like you were maybe feeling like you were giving your all or something like that. And then in the end, you weren't really seeing it back. Some of you guys might have felt like you had somebody in your life here who was actively working against you. There could have been this energy of somebody trying to sabotage you. I feel like you're being helped now, okay, when it comes to that energy. Yeah, some of you had to make the choice to move on from something and you really didn't want to. But this is actually leading you to a new beginning, okay? So for some of you, yeah, if you had to leave like a work situation behind, you, you know, this has been for the better. Or if your finances have been suffering, I feel like you are protected. There's about to be a shift here in the future. Can't tell no lies. I'm telling you, there is about to be a shift. Don't let that devil energy get to you and tell you that it's not, it's not for you. Capricorn could be involved as well, okay? You could have Capricorn in your chart, Scorpio, Cancerian out here as well, okay? So take it as it resonates. But you're being helped out of a situation where you feel like you're suffering from some kind of loss. And this could also be that energy I was talking about too with before with the boss who sees that you don't do very well when you're stressed out, but when you're not stressed out, like you do super well. It's like weird. Like they're like, you know what I mean? Like if I just keep them happy, not spoil them, not like outright baby them, but keep them a little bit happier than I would. It's like, you know, you have, you know, you have the bottle fed, independent babies. This is a horrible example before I say it. Fully saying that, Gemini, but just work with me here. You have the independent bottle fed babies, then you have the coddling breastfed babies. And I'm, again, horrible example, because there's the breastfed is the best fed, okay? I know that, all right? I'm just saying. But there, you can't, you can't deny it. Breastfed babies are a little bit more clingier than bottle-fed babies. So I'm getting that energy here of like, yeah, this this boss is willing to breastfeed you a little bit. <laughs> oh my god! I swear, the, the shit that I literally say on film. Anyways. <laughs> That's what I'm getting though. Like somebody is willing to breastfeed you a little bit because they know that you thrive that way. You know what I mean? More so than, I don't know. Anyways, I'm, I'm off of that example. All right, I really am. I feel like you've been going through a really stressful, horrible time. Period, Gemini, for some of you guys. That shit is ending. You're being helped, okay? Somebody is about to step in and help you. This could be a boss. This could be a, a strong, masculine figure for some of you guys, okay? Um, this could be a member of your family that might be stepping in to help you. I just feel like this person has some authority in their voice. I don't know, whoever this emperor is, right? They could be a fire sign, Aries for sure. Don't have to be. Don't get triggered if you've been dealing with the Aries. I've seen the comments, okay? <laughs> I know it's true. Guys, there's a lot of signs that can trigger you, but an Aries really can trigger you. I have been, y'all, I had an Aries. Whoo! She almost got me to pass that threshold of no return when it comes to anger, like in my life, like I, she really did. But anyways, Aries, yeah, I don't fuck with Aries anymore, <laughs> okay, because of that, I just don't. All right, yeah, <laughs> right? I'm telling you, for some of you, yeah, there is this energy of somebody who's been really combative around you or you've just gotten out of a really combative situation. This could have been involving friends. And you might have seen that somebody was not all that they were saying that they were or I'm hearing stealing my work. So some of you might have found that. Yeah, I feel like you might have felt like you were a little blocked around this person too. You're seeing the truth of a situation now. So this could also be the help that is coming your way. Because for some reason, I don't always pick this up. I actually never pick this up with this emperor, but I'm almost getting spirit with this energy. Like spirit coming in to show you something that you were blind to before, and this is actually what's going to help you. Because once you can see things clearly, you can walk away. Yes. Okay? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, and then look, work on rebuilding yourself and get on your path. Spirit's like, exactly. 
All right, that's the energy I'm getting for that, okay? Ready, set, go. Some of these might be, you know, connected and some of this might not be. It might be completely different areas. Like this could be love, this could be money. You know, just take it as it resonates. Friend, uh, friendship, you know, I don't know. I'm getting love vibes too. Ready, set, go. Some of you guys have been feeling very burdened about doing something. Yeah, you need to make a choice here, a divine choice, Gemini. There's your energy here. You need to make a divine choice. You have some kind of vision for yourself in the future, like you're seeing past something. That's why the King of Wands isn't looking at us because he's looking at his future, okay? He's looking at what's ahead of him. And that's what you're looking at. But there's it's something about this is burden. So now for some of you where there's this self-employment energy and you really are just wanting to drop these wands and just go, you know, work for yourself and do this, do that. It might take a lot of courage to do this. Leo energy showing up. It might take a lot of courage to do this. Some of you guys could be doing this by Leo season. Or if you're doing it now, you will be successful by Leo season. That is for some of you guys. But yeah, it might take a lot of courage to go ahead and just leave this all behind and go ahead and be self-employed. But I feel like spirit's urging you to do that. Yeah, some of you, you know, this is gonna be something that you're gonna have to nurture, right? We got the king and queen of pinnacles out here too. So there's definitely something about maybe meeting somebody along the path that's going to help you and help you realize this vision. But overall, it's gonna be your choice, Gemini. You're gonna have to take the leap of faith. You might meet people along the way that you will work with and will help you grow your legacy, true. And I do feel like a lot of these souls you are meant to meet, yes. But I just get this energy of like, you have to make the choice, you have to nurture something here. I am getting that energy for some of you, there's a divine counterpart or a divine connection that you're gonna meet um, this person and you are meant to build a legacy with this person, point blank period. Because I'm getting spirit here in the middle with the emperor, the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles. There could be this energy of you two being kept apart right now so you can work on your own individual bullshit before you could ever come together and work on your, you know, together bullshit that's the energy i'm getting here for some of you you just have different things that you really do need to do right now separate okay and when you come together you're going to be happy that this took this long to come together because now you guys are both in this headspace and i don't know it's like you're more mature you're wiser you're more experienced in life it's like some people say finding love in like your late 30s, your early 40s, whatever, or 50s. People say that's the best time to find love because you know who you are inside. You know, you might be retired or you might have a nice job. You're, you're kind of settled. You're kind of rooted in in your life, your personality. You know what you want, your likes, your dislikes, your pet peeves. You know, you know, you have some kind of sense of self-worth for better or worse. Right? So some people say dating and stuff and getting married and meeting your person later in life is actually better. Like spend the first part of your life building your legacy, working on your own bullshit. So that way when you come together, some of y'all didn't want it to go down like this. Like you wanted to meet some kind of high school sweetheart and have this fairy tale romance and live happily ever after. Sorry guys. I'm sorry. But some of you guys, yeah, that's what you wanted. But Spirit was like, no, I have other plans for you because you have more important things to do than just meet somebody, get barefoot and pregnant, and that's your legacy. For some of you, that's great, right? I'm not, whatever, guys. But I'm just saying, for the majority of you, I do really I feel like you are meant to do big things on this planet. You're meant to accomplish things. You're meant to slay, you know, this darkness, all right? So it's like, Spirit's like, no, you have to be kept apart to do your individual shit, and you will be coming together. Maybe you've met this person before, maybe you haven't. Either way, there is a new opportunity coming towards you, okay? I feel like, yes, there is somebody that you're in alignment with, Gemini. I feel like you're gonna meet this person and you're gonna feel a lot of, you cannot even make it up. You cannot, I'm done, done, right? You cannot even make it up. I'm telling you, you're gonna meet this person, you're gonna feel really passionate about this person. You're gonna feel like, um, it could be a Leo, could be happening in Leo season. I feel like you're gonna feel really um, energized by this person. You guys are gonna feel energized by each other. It's almost gonna feel like when you meet this person, like, yes, this is the person, like literally, this is the person I've been waiting for. This is the person that I have been held held in isolation for almost, Gemini, because some of you guys might feel like you have been kept away from people, right? Like anytime you try to even get close to anybody romantically, there's something that's revealed. It's like spirit won't let you get close to anybody. You're, you're meant to be by yourself. Like some of you guys felt like that. Like I must be meant to be alone. 
because damn it, I can't get close to nobody, right? Some of you guys, it's because you have been kept, again, on your individual path that so you can do your individual thing, but also so you can be saved for this person. I feel that very strongly, Gemini, I really do. Let's get some advice. Call it a day, okay? For Gemini. Uh-oh. That's way too many. But the card that was on top was Angel of Joyfulness. Something wondrous and magical is about to happen. I feel like some of you guys, you're not expecting this. You're not expecting to meet this person or to have this connection with this person. Um, I feel like this person could show up too. And again, business partner form or friendship form first. Some of you guys might meet this person at a hospital or at the ER. I don't know. I'm getting that energy. Look, angel of communication. Communicate clearly. Do not be afraid to tell it like it is, says spirit. Because didn't I tell you? This might be this person who's told you in the past, oh, I'd love to be with you. But I will definitely settle for friendship. And then just ghosted you and you wouldn't give them what they wanted. Right? You're like, okay, well, let's test that then. So I feel like if this person or anybody comes back or comes forward, you're just going to, you know, do not be harsh or mean or rude or bitter, but just like, you know, you know, do you come in peace or what are your intentions? Or you said that, what? You said that in the past, what's changed now? Like there's that energy of questioning something or questioning somebody and rightfully so needing to. Like it's important. Remember how I said there's something about your third eye and your throat chakra with these blue cards that came out? Some of you, it's important that you do. And that might be important to the journey too. Like spirits like, yes, you guys need to have this conversation. If this is something where you guys have been separated and you're being brought back together, Gemini, then yes, this is a conversation that needs to happen. And you do need to communicate clearly. Don't be afraid to tell it like it is. Like I said, you don't have to be a jerk. You don't got to insult nobody or call nobody out their name or anything like that. But again, don't be afraid to tell it like it is. God of indulgence came out. It's all right. Stop beating yourself up. A little indulgence in balance is healthy. It's okay to have fun, Gemini. I feel like you've been with the strength energy. Yes, you've been so resistant, so disciplined. Why? Because you're growing the legacy. And some of you know, like there's no, you've been, yes, you've been working on your shadow work. You've been really like, I'm hearing monk mode. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing monk mode for some of you guys. Like you've been in monk mode, Gemini, just working on you, doing you is really the energy I'm getting here. Okay. One more. Yes. The angel of clearing your time of waiting and confusion will soon be over. I mean, come on now, guys. Come on. Like I said, you've been something, this spiritual connection has been kept on like spiritual layaway or something like you have been kept for this person and this person has been kept for you. I'm not saying y'all like haven't never been with anybody before. Oh, quite the opposite, right? But I feel like it's just never worked out with anybody else or, you know, there's been a period of isolation before meeting this person, okay? All right, Gemini, weird reading. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but I do hope it helps you. I hope it resonates. I hope it does something, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.